It's Justin Phillips outside Autzen Stadium. Gets set for Ducks and Arizona coming up at 4:15 on Pac-12 Network. Some keys to the game for Oregon today. Hopefully, have Justin Herbert back. It seems like they're going to. That seems to be the vibe. That's going to be huge for the Oregon offense. Is going to want to try to open things up with the uh, the passing game. Not sure that that's a good idea. Because one of the keys to the game is to keep the ball out of the hands of Arizona quarterback Khalil Tate. In order to do that, we're going to have to take the slow, more methodical approach on offense. We'll see if they decide to do that or if they just decide to try and air it out. You're going to hear names you haven't heard in the last six weeks. You're going to hear Dylan Mitchell. You're going to hear Charles Nelson. Um, hopefully Justin Herbert. Obviously Royce Freeman. Not expecting uh, Kanai Benoit to be playing in the game today. He's been rehabbing most of the week. So Tony Brooks-James and Darian Felix will likely be in there for the run game for Oregon. So uh, no worries on the run game there. Defensively, Oregon's defense, a lot better than Arizona's defense. Arizona's big power on their uh, offensive side, according to the College Football Matrix, they are number two in the nation right now on offense, most of that because of Khalil Tate. Defensively, they're the exact opposite. They're like 100, and they're about, they're roughly 140th. I have to look at the numbers and do the exact. Oregon right now on defense, 80th in the nation, according to College Football Matrix. So, some mix in numbers there. Slow and methodical on offense, solid defense, maybe get a special teams play or two in there for Oregon. They got a chance to at least stay in the game, if not maybe win it in the end. Justin Phillips, your three keys to the game at Autzen Stadium here. Follow us on Autzen Zoo on uh, Facebook and Twitter as well. And uh, game today, Pac-12 Network at 4.15 with the kickoff for Arizona and Oregon.